You know, I can imagine that if you have a 3D printer and you have nowhere to go because the site doesn't seem to exist from the manufacturer anymore, you are basically stuck. But you want to start printing with this 3D printer because you don't want to have paper waste. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set Cura and Prusa Slicer up for your 3D printer. Hey, hello, this is Zach here. And when I was reading the comments in my comments section from one of my videos, I saw a gentleman or a person having issues with his little mate. And you know, I checked it out and I saw that there was nowhere any information about slicer settings. So I'm going to help you out on this little topic. You know, I can imagine, and I have been there, that getting the right slicer settings in Cura or in Prusa Slicer can be challenging. And especially if you're brand new through 3D printing, you know, it's not that easy. And you know, with this video, I'm going to help you out with your issue. So uh, let's dive right in there. If you don't have Cura or Prusa Slicer, go to Google, find Cura or Prusa Slicer and download the latest firmware. From there, you open up right here next to the folder, add printer, you're going to select a non ultimaker printer then add non network printer so under ultimaker you are going to select custom and you select the custom fff printer there you give it the name and in this case little mate written like this okay and you click on add here it is going to ask for the x y and z height so we are going to check the site and here on the side, I find that the printing area is 110 by 110 by 120. So we are going to add that here. 110, 110, 120. Let's see. I am not really sure if it has a heated bed, yes or no. So I'm going to assume that this printer has a heated bed. We are going to select it. If the printer doesn't have a heated bed, then don't check this box for the g code flavor i'm not really sure if it is in heated bed yes or no the rest of the printhead settings you can leave it as they are for the extruder 0.4 and the and the filament diameter is going to be 1.75 then you click on next oops i made a little mistake no problem if you need to change something go to manage machine settings and i see that i forgot a zero here so 110 110 120 uh, the g-code flavor is marlin and the rest you will leave it as it is so this is the bed we have a profile called fine you can set it on normal or draft usually i use 0.2 here you have the quality settings the walls this is a two wall count top bottom four and four infill 20 percent it's usually a standard size the material Depending on, I think you are going to print in PLA, you're going to use 205 or 210. Usually I will use 210 degrees for most of the filament that is perfect temperature. The final printing temperature that is the top of the model. Uh, printing speed, on the website I saw that the printing speed is 40 millimeters per second. So we are going to change this into 40. The rest, Cura does it automatically. Travel, don't need to change anything there. Depending if you have a direct drive extruder or a Bowden tube extruder, so meaning that the extruder is on the backside of the printer with a Bowden tube running through the hot end and then on the build plate. Let's see if I can find more information. I see here, I see here a little uh, stepper motor with the extruder. So this is a normal standard Bowden tube extruder so the rest i will leave it as it is bed adhesion if you are working with a 3d printer that doesn't have a heated bed i recommend using or a brim or a raft okay so now i'm going to add a benchy you can also print a calibration cube it is easier and faster and you get direct result if it is going to work yes or no so we are going to click on slice and in the preview you can see exactly how it is going to look like how it is going to be printed as you can see there is a benchy with a raft around it how cool if you're going to use a usb thumb drive or an sd card micro sd card just put it in your laptop or computer and then you are going to select what is available at that moment once that is done you save it to the sd card or to the thumb drive and then you are going to load it into the printer once there you need to find in the menu you are going to select the print and then hit print 
and then you are going to get the model out of it. So this was the Cura site. Let's uh, take a look at Prusa Slicer. Prusa Slicer is one of my favorite slicer when it comes to most of my 3D printers. But how to add a custom 3D printer? Well, in configuration, you are going to the configuration wizard and there you select custom printer. Define a custom printer profile using custom profile name and then you can select there, say like Bill Nate. Next, yeah, the Gico flavor is also going to be asked here as well. We choose Marlin, so that is where we are going for. I'm going to select here Marlin 2. Next, now the print size is 110 times 110. Now you get this. Next, the height is 120. Next, 0.4 for the nozzle and for the filament 0.75. And the filament diameter is 1.75. Click on next. Extrusion temperature, we are going to go for 210. That temperature, we uh, we put in 60. Leave it blank if your printer doesn't have a heated bed. Next, we leave this as it is. Next, 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 next. Finish. So this is the build plate in Prusa Slicer for your custom 3D printer. As you can see, there are not that many settings, so you have to make it, but that is not that difficult. I'll show you right here with the Benji, open, and in the, within the print settings, you, you start with layers and uh, parameters. Maybe go for this, uh, simple, or maybe advanced, I don't know which one that you are going to use. Vertical shells, that are the walls, three. Uh, solid layers, top three, bottom three. For the infill, 20% is standard. Brim or skirt, outer brim only, but you can also uh, select something else. And you have also here the option for support material. It is a Benji, so you don't need to have that much of a support. Slice now. So I didn't have selected brim, but you can select it and re-slice it again. And this is how your Benji is going to look like. A little skirt around it. It's a standard thing in Prusa Slicer and then you will get your brim. Usually it is eight lines and then it starts printing the Benji. Once that is done and you want to export it to your SD card or USB thumb drive, you are going to click on here, wait until you get a message popping up right over here. And once that is done, you will uh, have the possibility to safely remove the USB thumb drive or the SD card by clicking on the eject button. Once that is done, you go to the printer and you put in the thumb drive or the SD card and uh, hit print on your printer. These are the two slicers with the most basic configurations to add a printer to the slicer and also getting a basic standard normal profile to get you going with your printer. So thank you so much and uh, you know check out this video right over here and uh, have fun printing.